Hello my dear Gemini, welcome to a new reading. All that you must know right in this moment. Let's find out what is in the cards for you. Everything happens for a reason. I strongly believe that. So the fact that you are here with me, it means that there is something that you need to hear right now. And you have a beautiful first card, which is the wish card. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Now, looks like there is a period of, of healing, of getting better. Okay. Breaking free from a situation or hard times are behind you. Let's see. Wow, you have the full card. Now, and this is a new journey, a new... You becoming more stable? Or... Like, more stable, when I say more stable, um, what I mean is... Um, um, let's say if there was a storm within yourself uh, where you felt uh, frustrated, angry, certain people on yourself, uh, things are coming down now. Also, you may also talk with someone who has that experience or has the right words that will lift you up, that will make you you know, um, feel better and supported and encouraged to, to you know, uh, keep moving, keep uh, keeping the faith that uh, something good will happen to you. And definitely with is going to happen with the, the wish card here. Um, some of you, maybe you are thinking of moving or traveling uh, going somewhere, maybe just, you know, let me look at this card a little bit. Give me just a moment, as I want to look into this word. Hmm. Yeah, didn't I just said to become more hopeful, to have more faith, and I honestly did not know what the word uh, despondence, despondence means, but um, exactly what I was feeling like, this is the card, and I also looking at the card, I felt like you had enough of something, right? So um, don't lose your hope. And have faith because things are about to move for you. For some of you can be you literally moving somewhere else into a new place or starting a new job or um, can be ending a relationship for some of you just having enough of someone or a certain situation and just deciding to, you know what, mm, let's split this because it's just not working out for others of you um a big revelation here you know you feel like um if there was a moment when you lost your faith your hope um now you are coming back you know and you are more um, you trust that um it's coming the time it's coming your time where things will go the way you want. Um, and this also comes with a decision that someone has to make here. Look at this uncertainty. Which way to go? What should I do? As I said, that there is for some of you also a decision that you must make. And you may be like... What should I do? I just want to make sure that 
this is the right job, the right move, the right person, uh, a little bit uncertain about um, what, what is it that you should do. Now, you may have had obstacles in your way lately, and it's understandable why you, you may be like, you know, taking the time before you decide something. Let's see what we have, group thing. So as I said from the beginning, I felt like you may, you will talk with someone, you will ask someone uh, for advice as you are planning, going into a period of uh, transformation here, of change. Um, you, you have the full card, which is also a showing some obstacle right so you may feel like um uh, not obstacle sorry a risk you are like you don't want to take a risk you want to you know somehow be sure of where you are going what you are doing but my dear gemini nobody can be sure of anything in this life so sometimes with a full card it's like take a little bit of a risk um, instead of, you know, because the, the um, being afraid, right, um, and letting this fear to, to be so much uh, in control, it will just stop you. Nothing good will happen for you. So a little bit of risk is indicated, right? You, if you want to change, you have to go out of the comfort zone. The, it, it is what it is, right? So... Let's look into your love life and then we are going to look into your career, finances, of course, all of this. Let's look into your love life and let's see what is here for you. So, now there might be someone with who right now you might be just in a phase of talking a little bit of teasing maybe, right? But there is also, it's a spark. It's something there. So your advice with this is to take time out to explore how you feel, what you are experiencing. And I don't remember now for what sign I said this and I feel like I should say for you also. So if this is a, someone new that you are talking with or it might be someone new uh, that is coming in your life soon you may not know the person yet uh, either way one thing i want to say something that i heard a few days ago and it's so true right so when when we are um let's say evaluating a connection with someone we need to make a difference between how we feel for that person so we might find that person amazing beautiful smart um having it all together just a treasure right we see them like the, the the like a blessing and make the difference in between how they make you feel all right and be honest about this are they making you feel nervous anxious um what kind of feelings the person is giving you it's very important to to take it for what it is and don't make it better than it is all right so take this in consideration as as you get this message here of you know taking the time and observe and um, you know have a little bit of an idea with who you are talking what uh what's happening here and because i felt this way we have also the moon card trust your gut trust your intuition you know usually the gut or our intuition is telling us stuff that we don't want to hear right so looking at your cards here you must pay attention because this person uh, might be someone that is not quite right for you and <clears throat> Um, it's someone that what they want is not what you want. So, so listen to your intuition because for some of you here, you feel 
that something is off. Uh, the biggest mistake that we people in general are doing what we are doing, we are pushing aside that and we actually trick ourselves, right? Uh, we are like, uh, I'm just, uh, um, you know, paranoid, right? Uh, this person is not like this or they will not do this. Um, you know, do not convince yourself of things that you feel, right? Your gut is telling you that something is off. Uh, listen to that, pay attention, observe, because someone here might not have the same, you know, reasons or vision for this connection as you have. <coughs> now, we have the magician. Now, with the magician, again, this person knows how to talk, knows what to say. It's something about them but isn't it might be a trick so pay attention my dear Gemini also we have here the two of cups but what is interesting with uh, this two of cups here someone is wearing a mask all right so again you also have the seven of swords so all I get from this is like pay attention right don't jump right into something take the time because uh, you want to make sure that whoever this person is is the who they say they are they are who they say they are and they are not there is nothing tricky about it for some of you so don't take me wrong you also have two beautiful cards here ten of cups and four of wands which is commitment marriage happy home happy family so this can evolve in a very good or uh, amazing relationship awesome but what your cards are telling you right now is to take the time right we also teach people how to treat us so from the beginning is important how you are going to act what you are going to say my dear gemini so it's not that this person might be you know mm, uh, bad or something like this no it's about you being cautious and taking things as they are sometimes uh, some people need more time in order to form a relationship in order to get there to a certain point that others are getting much faster so everyone with their own time now let's see this is your advice for the love life relationships let's look into your career your money so we have counseling again this um energy of uh, you talking with someone asking for advice manifesting something here manifesting something here let's see so we have performance evaluation And you have changes now what this means if you have a job what this means for you it means that maybe it's coming a moment when um, you haven't done so much or you did not achieve too many things right or you haven't done it quite amazing perfect but but your words can take you out of trouble so instead of worrying right um you you have to work with yourself right to analyze the situation be aware of how good you have done this and that where you were mistaken and choose your words wisely because it's coming the moment when someone will um, you know address the problem and with the right words with the right ideas good uh, 
you know, clear there in your mind, you can um, uh, get out of difficulties here, uh, my dear Gemini. Now, let's see what the tarot is saying about the situation. Now, maybe you have a project or something like this, something that you are working towards and as you are looking for a job, maybe someone will look at your work and they will uh, be impressed by uh, your work. So something here that you manifesting is coming towards you. Look at this, the King of Wands, definitely here uh, you are attracting uh, something that you've been manifesting for so long so for some of you this can be a job right if you don't have a job uh, things are about to change things are about to get <laughs> isn't this funny look at this things are about to come uh, you know to happen for you look at this guy here i got this job Literally, I wanted to say that things will change and you will get that job. Uh, someone will will like, love what they see uh, to you, all the work until now or all your experience. There is something that will they will love about you and a uh, great change is coming with the butterfly. And look at this guy with the Ace of Swords. I got this job. Yes. Yes, uh, definitely. If you are um, resonating with this message, if you are looking for a job, then um, yeah, this is for you. Let's see anything else, Gemini. Where we have Three of Pentacles, collaboration here with the right people, with the right company. Um, we have the judgment, so definitely a change, a change in your attitude, um, a change in uh, also when you are manifesting, when you are wishing for something here, be clear what you are wishing for don't say i want a job be more specific what kind of job you can make what can you can you can do and uh, when you are specific uh, you increase your chances to to get closer to your goal and remember that your heart's true desire is ready to come true wow and <laughs> look at what card i could take out for you the last card is uh, the six of wands so the six of wands here shows the success uh, changing your attitude uh, you know shedding the old embracing the new um, ending with whoever whatever doesn't uh, you know align with uh, what you want uh, for the future is bringing you this amazing change here oh wow and look at this you have ten of cups uh, in this deck also showing the stability that the things are coming towards you soon things are about to change for you for better my dear gemini but you know change is not coming without your action all right so um be aware of what you are doing to attract these changes in your life because nothing is falling from the sky you must take action you must break that big dream of yours into small achievable goals and work towards it every single day make sure that what you do today makes you a little bit better than who you were yesterday my dear gemini this is your reading thank you so much for being here with me i wish you all the best send you all my love and support and don't forget to like this video to subscribe to the channel you know all these things connect with me here for future readings. See you soon!